human body is a finely tuned machine. All humans are built to the same blueprint of muscle and bone. But we can use them to perform amazingly different tasks. With speed and strength, perfect control, and exquisite balance, our bodies are miracles of design evolution. Witness the power of muscle and bone, next on Body Atlas. Bobby Thatcher is about to take the plunge. He's an Olympic hopeful in rowing, and this early morning workout is just one part of his intense training program. To make the team, Bobby must continually improve his performance. Understanding how his body works gives him the edge he needs to outpace the competition. In his case, knowledge is truly power. Today, he'll be racing the clock as he prepares for upcoming time trials. Rowing is a showcase for the human machine. Bobby's powerful strokes coordinate perfectly with his well-trained muscles. A heat-sensitive camera reveals the inner secrets of the biological engine powering the boat. Muscular pistons connect bone levers that are pivoted at joints and greased with natural lubricants. The muscles are driven by sugar dissolved in the bloodstream. Human power is transferred to an artificial lever. The carbon fiber ore pivots on a steel swivel. Smoothly and efficiently, Bobby's internal fuel supply is converted to the force on the ore blade that drives him on. But to win, Bobby must perfect every aspect of the boat's human engine. At an Olympic training laboratory, Bobby tests his lung power. He needs a plentiful supply of oxygen to burn the fuel in his muscles. Keep driving, 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 and in. His lung capacity is amazing. He can breathe nearly two gallons of air in one breath. Bobby regulates his breathing carefully as he warms up. Gentle exercise increases the blood flow through the body. The muscles tune up to use oxygen more efficiently. The energy Bobby will use is actually already stored in his tissues as a form of sugar called glycogen. As his muscles burn more sugar, his blood carries the extra heat to his skin to be radiated away. The tiny blood vessels in his face dilate quickly to help cool the blood. Okay, get ready for this piece. It's time to test Bobby's training. His body is primed, both on the water starting line and on a dry run in the lab. Set, go! Go! Hours in the lab have taught Bobby how to get the best out of his body. 
He has rehearsed the grueling race under intense scrutiny. That's it, nice and sharp off, well done. Bobby must use his limited reserves of energy wisely. Only one quarter of the chemical energy in his muscles fuel is turned into useful power. Three quarters is wasted as heat. Human muscle has an efficiency of 25%, the same as a modern automobile engine. But no one can match the huge energy resources of machines. A power graph demonstrates what happens. The first blips show Bobby's initial burst of energy, but his muscles can't keep that pace up for the whole race. He must drop his stroke to a less hectic cruise for the next few minutes. At this slower pace, the human engine is rated at half a horsepower. At peak performance, it can work to four and a half horsepower. It would take 50 athletes like Bobby to power the average car. Bobby's intensive training is taking his body to new heights. But like any efficient machine, the human body needs a solid framework. A nine-week-old fetus appears to have a full complement of bones. But actually, it's a framework of tough, flexible cartilage. True bones will form around it later. This ingenious bit of evolution allows the baby's skeleton to withstand knocks and its skull to be compressed slightly during birth. The skull plates won't fully connect for 18 months allowing the baby's brain to grow to full size. Infants are born with 350 bones, 150 more than an adult has. Many of them fuse together during childhood, and by age 25, the average adult is down to 206. This gives us fewer but stronger bones for adult life. Bones are among nature's most perfect creations. They are light, but incredibly strong. Ounce for ounce, they can withstand four times the weight resisted by reinforced concrete. <laughs> 